Hello, my name is Christian. For my honors project, I evaluate the cycling infrastructure in Hamilton. Cycling in many countries has recently seen resurgence of cycling as a mode of transportation, with many governments trying to inherit the health, sustainability, and economic benefits accompanied with the adoption of a cycling culture. To understand the potential barriers to cycling in Hamilton, I evaluate the infrastructure through three distinct lenses, safety, convenience, and health. To start from my literature review process, I identified a list of parameters that would influence bikeability perceptions, uh, which I would then use to incorporate into an index that would classify good and bad areas of cycling. To evaluate safety in Hamilton, these parameters would construct a bikeability map from field and spatial data collected over six weeks, visualized on ArcGIS software. Three parameters we used to create a map of Hamilton cycling network. This is the topography as a measure of the road slope, maximum motorized speed as the road speed limit, and the type of cycle lane as the one seen. Four additional factors we used to evaluate uh, specific routes within the network. This is the width of the cycle lane, the presence of bicycle storage, health benefits, and convenience. The constructed bikeability map was mostly constructed along primary and secondary roads that provided a representation of all the lanes used by major suburbs. The skeleton of the network took into consideration major areas of business, education, and leisure in its design. The bikeability map shows areas of low scoring um, indicated by red and high score areas indicated by green. For a brief overview, Hamilton scored high in topography due to its flat terrain but showed many areas of excessive speed limits. As for the type of bike lane, the cycling network outlined a disjointed CBD with low scoring areas encompassing the major business area. For the trip specific factors, this was trialed along a theoretical route from Dinsdale to Hamilton CBD, taking the persona of a 30 year old male commuter. Analysis of the road, uh, route showed a lack of separated cycle lanes in the CBD, but showed sufficient storage. Through the health lens, this was evaluated as calculating the calories burned on both sides of the trip while considering trip specific information such as topography, duration traveled, and the user's gender, height, age, and weight. For this trial trip, about 20% of the required daily calorie burn reached to some 182,700 kilocalories within a year or 653 cheeseburgers burnt. For convenience, this was measured as the minutes saved through the week. Um, this used typical departure and arrival times and saw a maximum of 18 minutes saved uh, to sum a median total of 27.2 hours within a year. Thank you for listening to my presentation.